Hello Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. Um, I hope majority of you are watching this early on because um, I have some, some things in here that could, you know, that could, can be mitigated, okay? So first of all, I am seeing here, um, try to minimize driving. So for example, if you can, you know, clump all your errands in one go, that way you can get it done all at the same time rather than, you know, having to go here, go there, or, or like, you know, not having a shopping list so you're running around because I do see some issues with cars, vehicles, and I do see as well, just be careful of accidents. So that means driving while you are looking at your phone, texting and things like that. Okay. You are heavily tied into your electronics. So I would like it if you can be a little bit careful, um, get put a, sun, a pair of sunglasses in your car, <clears throat> especially if, um, if the area that you're in, you know, like around sunset or sunrise, there is that glare. So just be very careful about that for the next two weeks, please. Um, so the, the, the towards the tail end of the month, this is being published early. So if you're, you know, that type that drives while texting and, you know, you're heavily plugged into your electronics and you're driving around and you have a habit of, you know, going for joy rides, just please be careful. Okay. Um, so I'm going to leave that alone. That's for those of you who are a little bit distracted while driving. Just be careful. Um, the second message that I feel here is please, please, please take other people's advice. Um, people around you care about you. And it's, it's like from the outsider, uh, looking in from the outsider's perspective, they're, they're just like, you should do this. I think it's going to make your life a lot easier. You should do that because I feel that you need it. Okay. So, so they're giving you advice and we're not talking about random strangers coming up to you. These are people that you know and trust and have the best, uh, you know, intentions for you. They're, they're seeing you behaving in a, a way that is a little bit, uh, too reckless and they've told you what you should do in the past. And, uh, you know, being as stubborn as you are, you, you didn't listen. And I feel like there's some truth. There's some wisdom to what they're saying. So if this is a person that you, you care about and you trust, you know, and I'm seeing like, you know, close friends, close family members, siblings, um, you know, people that you trust, maybe it's time to listen to them. I, I feel some of you in the romantic relationship sector, flirtations gets out of control. So that means you, if you have a tendency to be very flirtatious, not all Aquarius are flirtatious, but the ones that are, I feel can be overly so, and you get yourself in hot water. So that means, you know, saying things that you might not mean. And then, you know, like uh, one thing leads to the next and you find yourself with like a mister or a mistress, right? So please be very careful because it feels to me like your partner might find out about it. And it also feels to me like it can create a lot of problems for you when it comes to trust issues, when it also comes to um, their ability to really, you know, think to, to really take you seriously in the future. So be careful about that. Okay. Male and females. So this is just something, you know, like you, you, you might think it's, it's just harmless flirtation. It can get you in hot water. It can create trust issues between you and your partner. So please be careful. Um, others of you, I feel like experimentation and, um, not of the good kind. Okay. Not of the good kind. Because I feel like some, some, some younger people might be watching this and you're going through a phase where you are experimental, uh, experimenting sexually, chemically, and um, you're coming into quite a bit of money. So you might, you know, splurge. Okay. And so slow down, just please slow down. Okay. Um, especially if you're transporting items, please slow down. You don't want a speeding ticket and you have something in your car that you're not supposed to. And, you know, you get pulled over for speeding and then one thing leads to the, uh, to another. And, you know, it, it's just, it's just bad. Okay. So just please be careful. And of course, I know that that's not going to apply to everybody, but I feel that, you know, um, if it helps somebody that's dealing with this and is thinking about it. And, and then, you know, if you're watching this early, it might be helpful. Okay. Another thing that I'm sensing is, um, I, I do see, you know, like car, it, car things. So don't splurge on your car. Don't, don't try to maintain and retain as much money as you can. 
don't splurge on new things. So that means, you know, buying nice things, stereo system, um, things for your car. You're better investing the money into your home. So that means fixing things around the home, you know, having something solid around the home. So that means whatever you're planning to put in your car, I feel like it's just better for you to invest that money back in something that doesn't, you know, depreciate in value, such as your home, your property, your children, the people you care about, right? So th that's just a better way for you to work with that energy, okay? Um, the next message that I have for you as well is um, I feel like some of you are single. I feel like a lot of people are single and a lot of people are just like, um, I, I feel like internally, you know that you have some work that you need to do, okay? And um, the, the, the self-work process, you're meant to do this on your own. And a, a lot of you, you know, in the past, Whenever you find those feelings creeping up, you, you've distracted yourself with, you know, flirtation, buying new things, that sense of materialism, even though you're not an innately materialistic sign, I feel like you were distracting yourself with a bunch of other things when you should have done some self-work, when you should have done some, you know, me time, me being alone to reflect on me, and it's catching up. And so I feel that for for this for this um for the next two weeks there's travel there's a lot of movement there's a lot of like uh traveling to places that can be very rejuvenating for you that can be very good for you if you're taking this trip to try to f sort things out on your own try to do it on your own you know do it with friends is fine but you know don't distract yourself with another relationship please because some self-work is in order okay and then for others of you, I feel like completely new, single, looking for work, looking to branch out, looking for a new location, looking for, you know, new opportunities. And I feel like you have done a lot of uh, inner work on yourself. You're at a point where you're really stable. You're not trying to run around, distract yourself with, you know, fun, exciting things. So I, I feel like you're at a good place right now where money will be coming to you you're attracting really good things business prospects proposals you're attracting you know good candidates the 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 ones that are willing to work hard at your relationships and you're attracting you know higher caliber dating partners okay so that's for those who have spent the last four years just doing a lot of self-work doing a lot of uh, introspection and you're a lot more clear and directed about, you know, where you're putting your energy and to whom you should devote your energy and, and whether or not it's worth it. So I feel like we have two types of Aquarian people here. And we also have, you know, I, I feel like I feel like the, the latter group, the ones that have done, you know, a lot of work, you're, there's a relocation in store for you. From now until the October time frame, I see like a new physical property, like um, either a new property or like a new house you are moving into, a new location, new city. And uh, it's going to feel, you know, a little bit like, uh, I feel like that emotional and physical displacement at first. But... And it's like a mixed bag, like a bittersweet type of feeling. Oh, what do I do? I have to make friends again. I have to, you know, uh, go out again. I don't know my way around. So I, I feel like you're, you might be traveling a lot. And the energy here is, you know, be patient. Fine. You've done it before and you're going to be okay. You've done it in the past. You're going to be okay. And so that initial sense of like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm physically displaced. I'm in a new environment. I'm going to have to rebuild, you know, my friendship, my social circle, my 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 fun and recreation from the ground up. I have to, you know, scope out the territory. So I feel like there's that sense of excitement, but that sense of worry from your end as, as well. So we have some good things coming through for you. A lot of travel. Please slow down and um, please don't, you know, succumb to temptation and, you know, the flirtation getting you in hot water. That's something you want to be careful about. OK, so let it be lesson learned for those of you who have recently gone through this because they're saying that you know listen to other people when they're trying to help you especially the people that you respect and you care about it would be foolish if they're telling you something you know because they're they're seeing where you're going to uh, awry where you're going astray and they're trying to help you and you're not heeding that that um you're not heeding their advice okay um 
I feel a strong earth sign in your, your presence. So this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel like for some of you, there's a lot of traveling happening with this person. You're traveling to see them as well. And that's their sun, moon, or rising. And then I feel like for others of you, uh, leaving one relationship partner, going to the next, okay? Leaving somebody who's actually quite stable and venturing into with somebody who might be a little bit more fun, but not very stable. So I almost want to say like, I don't know what you're doing, Aquarius, but it feels to me like if you need to get that out of your system, that's fine. But heed the warning, heed the intuition and heed other people's advice, okay? Um, I know that the, you know, you, you guys are very stubborn. So the more people push you to not do something, the more it becomes like that forbidden fruit and the more you want to prove people wrong or the more you just want to shock people or you just feel like, well, if everyone's opposed to it, you know, I got to do it. So it's that inner, inner child, but also that inner rebel within you. And that's fine, but don't hurt anybody in the process. Okay. I'm going to leave it at, at that. And I don't want to sound preachy, but I do want you to just reflect a little bit on some of the things that have happened for the past four years. Do you find yourself in the same cycles? If yes, do something different to break out of it. And if yes, maybe heeding other people's advice or asking other people for advice will be beneficial for you. Okay. I wish you the best. It seems like it's going to be a very dynamic, um, fun two weeks or the last two weeks of the month. So I don't feel like you're going to be bored at all, but I do feel you want to be careful and make, you know, um, decisions that are better for you and the people around you. Okay. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.